we've got Cameron Taylor and head coach Amaka Gugwa Hamilton. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Hem from Coach Mox, and then we will open it up for questions uh, for the stream. Make sure you raise your hand and speak into the microphone, Coach. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, obviously very disappointing. Um, this game was almost identical to North Carolina, so that that just um, oh, in, in in terms of the point spread and things like that, but. That just uh, hurts a little bit because I thought we made some strides in finishing games and and uh, you know coming together at the end against Boston College. But um, you know I think we got to take care of some of the self-inflicted errors. That's what I told the team. You know this is the third game I believe in a row that we've had over 20 turnovers, and just can't win games like that. We can't have over 20 turnovers, get out rebounded, and um, even if it is by one, and give up 77 points. So. We, we got to get better, and we, we're not quite there yet, but we've made huge strides, and I'm proud of the strides we made. But, you know, these ones kind of just really sting because, you know, we could have closed that out. Um, Coach, with Cam in the third quarter, what was the big lift that she brought you there? Well, Cam was, you know, super aggressive. They couldn't guard her one-on-one, -on -one, um, so we were just trying to isolate her in different actions. Um, she was doing a great job. You know, they tried to go zone. She hit a jump shot, so they went out of zone, and they tried to guard us. And man, and she was just getting to the rim, uh, doing a good job putting pressure on their on their bigs and also finishing. So, um, you know, Cam is she's a I say it all the time. You know, she's a three level scorer, so she's she's different from a post player's perspective because she can score at the rim, obviously, but she can rip and drive and she can shoot. So um, it just it's hard for people to guard her. You know, so we were just isolating her more. Florida State goes on that 18-0 run, and obviously fouling and free throws played a part there. But what else was Florida State doing so well there on either end of the floor? Yeah, I mean, I think we didn't take great shots, to be honest, uh, down, the sh down the stretch. We had some turnovers, um, got a little rattled. But I think when we are defending, we're way better on offense. And what happened down the stretch was, you know, they got – a little bit comfortable with their zone offense, hit a couple shots, so I switched it up and I went back to man, and then they were getting downhill. Um, you know, the zone was working. Florida State is a very hard team to guard man because they they got really good guard play and they get downhill. So they had some kids come in that, you know, Gordon came off the bench and hit some shots for them. So we went man, then we just couldn't really guard them, and that, that rattled us. So when we're, we're getting scored on, we're not great on offense because everybody's trying to think of defense and all this. So I think that's what went wrong at the end. Uh, it might get lost a little bit uh, with the final result, but Yanta was really good in the first half at nine points, a couple assists. What do you see from her tonight, a couple highlight plays, and just sort of what does that tell you about her future? Yeah, she's growing. You know, freshmen kind of have to get settled in, and they got to get used to everybody being, like, bigger, faster, stronger in college, and it's a very competitive uh, physical league. And so, you know, I think with more playing time, she's getting a little bit more comfortable. Um, but I I'm pleased with her performance, and I think she – She's a facilitating point guard, so she, she looks for our bigs a lot, and they're getting more touches. So um, she's doing a good job. Um, with some inconsistencies in the whistle in the fourth quarter, there were a lot of, like you said, similarities to Carolina game. Is that part of what you think contributes to maybe the rattled portion of saying, like, trying to close out those games? Is it hard for a player to adjust when you don't necessarily know what – I'm trying to ask in a way that I don't want to set you up to, like, get in trial, like, fine or anything, but – is it difficult as a player to figure out how to attack if things seem to change or are changing in real time? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to comment on the refs, obviously. I think we just got to control what we can control. Um, you know, we got to stay disciplined. I think our bigs, a lot of their fouls um, are coming just from angles and things like that we need to fix. And then, um, you know, because we need our bigs to stay on the floor longer, so we got to get them out of foul trouble. Cam picked up too early. That That changes us when she does that. Um, London, I think London and Sam fouled out. So you, we, we got to get our bigs to play longer stretches because they're really good. You know, we can do more things when they're in there. So, um, but yeah, so fouls and um, turnovers are, you know, somewhat self inflicted and we got to be better in those areas. What was the explanation that you received on that sequence with Sam and, and the call that was eventually made? Um, the that the Florida State player grabbed her leg and then Sam retaliated by kicking her. Yeah, I, I don't want to get you in trouble with the, with the league either, but was that, was that the right call? I mean, I'm not going to answer that. I just, 
all I want to focus on is just getting our players better. Um, you know, find some positives. Kim was 18 and 10, which is great. That's why she's sitting right here. Um, Yanta grew today. Got Tay back in the mix. We had some other people. You know, our our, our bigs were had it rolling. So we just got to be able to play defense down the stretch and um, you know close out games. And Cam, how do you put this one behind you? You got another game coming right up. Like, how do you deal with this in the locker room, get past it, and move on, knowing that there's more games to be played? I mean, obviously, you know, the uh, whole team, we just take it as a learning opportunity. Obviously, a loss sucks, um, but we keep our heads high. We know this is still – we're a great team. We do a lot of great things. Just got to pull it all together. And, I mean, we're working hard every single day in practice. We're watching film. We're getting the gym extra. Um, you know, doing all we can. And I think that um, just having that same next game mentality and understanding that, you know, every every game is going to be a dog fight. So um, just keeping our heads up, knowing this is a great learning opportunity um, and just moving forward. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.